Yo, remember to like and subscribe. If you know me and I watch my videos, you know that I don't like to gatekeep things. With that being said, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool and viable tech that you could do with ice and crystallization. Some of you might know that most of ice actually really good moves are locked behind crystallization. For example, crystal and pale and ice lasers. Some of you might also know about 1 minute Sinjay. If you don't, you can watch my last video on it. But the problem is, you can't actually get crystal mantras whilst having 1 minute Sinjay, which is one of the best parts about ice, apart from the damage. But what if I told you you could actually get both of these? You could actually re-roll crystallization at the Shrine of Chance at Fort Merit. After you re-roll the card, you keep the mantras, but your Saint Jade now lasts as long as a normal Saint Jade. Moves like Ice Beam and Ice Lance will work the same. The problem with this is if you want things like Shatter Spear or Frozen Pin Cushions, you have to get them before re-rolling crystallization at, Shri at Shrine of Chance. This is me going through the talents of a build I did this on. As you can see, the crystallization card is nowhere to be seen, but if you look at my hotbar, you can see I have ice lasers on. I also put in a clip of me hitting ice beam on someone and showing the fact that it doesn't proc crystals, rather it procs a long St. Jane stud. If you didn't know about this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps me a lot and make sure to use this before it gets patched. Peace.